Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Hannah Critchlow. This week we listen in to find out how best to get mosquitoes to buzz off. Hello, my name is Nikhil Rajagopalan and I am from Chennai, India. I was at the local store the other day and I happened to see a small device being sold that claimed to emit sounds at high frequencies and as a result repel mosquitoes. My question is, is there any peer-reviewed evidence to support their claim? So, could a high-pitched sound annoy mosquitoes to the extent that they move on? I'm Dr James Logan, a medical entomologist from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Now, there are many devices on the market that emit a high-frequency sound and claim to effectively repel mosquitoes. And the devices range from handheld gadgets to even mobile phone apps that you can buy these days. And this high-frequency sound is meant to mimic a natural predator such as a dragonfly. And in nature, female mosquitoes would want to avoid a predator such as this. The other theory is that the sound actually mimics a male mosquito and if a female has mated already then she'd want to avoid that male mosquito. So that's the theory behind how these things work. Now while sound does play a role in mosquito ecology and mosquitoes certainly do have a sense of hearing, unfortunately there is no scientific evidence that high frequency devices repel mosquitoes. They're definitely not recommended for use in tropical countries, particularly where diseases like malaria are present. You're much better off using a topically applied repellent, and the best one on the market is one which contains DEET, or diethyl toluamide. A more natural alternative, which can be used in low-risk areas, is a repellent called PMD, or P-menthane diol, which is from the lemon eucalyptus plant. It does smell a bit, and you have to apply it more frequently, but it is a more natural alternative to DEET. So although it is biologically plausible for a high-pitched sound to annoy a mosquito away, there's no scientific evidence in existence that supports the claim that these devices actually work. High-pitched frequencies do however, seem to disturb teenagers. The sonic teenager deterrent, nicknamed the mosquito, sends out 80 decibel bursts of pulsing sounds of at least 16 kilohertz. And to those under about 20 years old, apparently it sounds like a demented insect or a very badly played violin. But for adults, it's hardly detectable. The reason being that over the years, cells in the inner ear die or are damaged, and the ones that go first are the ones that hear these higher frequencies. Apparently these devices are in use by the police forces, and Staffordshire Police confirmed that they stock these sonic devices for deployment in areas hit by teenage trouble. Moving on, James in Cambridge wrote in with this. Looking around at the neighbourhood cats, it struck me that most of them, and indeed most mammals, have patterned fur with several different colours. This made me wonder why humans tend to have uniform colour hair on their heads, faces and bodies. Why is this? Has there ever been anyone with multicoloured or patterned hair, or is it always a uniform colour? So, can you get a tabby human? And if not, why not? Send us your thoughts by posting on our Naked Scientists Facebook page. You can tweet at Naked Scientists. You can join in our live debate on our forum, which is at nakedscientists.com slash forum. Or you can email chris at thenakedscientists.com. The Naked Scientists Question of the Week. Brought to you in association with the How to Wisman Foundation. Supporting science and education from alpha to omega.